Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Good morning and good health. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning and good health. How are you doing? We have some breaking news about the Braxton women, right? And we want to be able to psychically look into what the hell is going on. But before we do, what's the first thing we got to discuss? We got to discuss COVID health. That's the first thing we have to do. But let me say good morning, good health, grand rising. What else can I say? But let, let me add all the black stuff that we love to say, right? We have to look into what the hell is going on. So let's start with your COVID help because that's the most important thing. Not the drama behind the Braxton sisters. Tracy is in the hands of God now. Tracy is safe. You got to remember that. Tracy is good. Okay, so your COVID health is very important. And let's start out with what can you do to stay healthy from the next Omicron? I think they're calling it DeltaCon. Right now it's called, S, uh, it's called BA2, right? But it's a Delta Omicron mixture. And this is what you need to stay healthy. This is the first thing I want you all to get. And that's D3, D3, B2. This is the first thing I want you guys to invest in. You can get it off of Amazon. D3, B2. That's the first thing, okay? The second thing I need you all to get is, we talked about this, but I'm going to keep talking about it until it seeps in, Benadine. Benadine. This kills 99.9% .9 of germs in your throat, which is where Omicron attacks first. It sits in your throat. Now, it will not stop you from getting COVID. It will stop you from your body from uploading more viral loads in your body and that that will allow you to heal from covid better d3 especially if you're deficient is a killer if you're deficient so talk to your doctor about your D3 levels now. Make your appointments now. Telehealth, Telemundo. I don't care. Talk to your doctors about your D3. My sister takes D3 regardless every single day because it's prescribed for special needs people because they already know they are deficient. They don't necessarily get out as much, yada, 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 boom, 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 boom. D3 is mandatory with special needs people. That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say is don't think looking into the sun is going to give you the D3. Not in this Omicron experience. You will not have enough D3. Now, I'm not a doctor. I am dressed up like a nurse today. Um, you, uh, IG sees me as a pig nurse or a bunny nurse. What am I? Am I a bunny? 
maybe I'm a bunny nurse today. You know what I'm saying? Don't take me seriously, people. Take me very seriously. All right. Now, what's the next thing we got to discuss? Fuck them Braxton girls. Where's my candles? Oh, it's my repertoire of uh, things. You have no idea what's in here. First, we have makeup. First, first and foremost, beauty matters. First and foremost, okay, beauty. Then we have nail polish, what I have on today. We always got to keep a pen nearby. I don't know why, but I do. My air conditioner button, and I also have a fan button. I have a bell. Melissa loves the bell. Um, and then crystals, good law. I don't even know what half these crystals are. I just love crystals. So I got this pretty blue one. It's something. I do like the color blue. So this is something else. I have no idea what they are. This is my, um, loop, uh, this is a clear, wait. This is my clear quartz. Clear quartz crystal. This is my luminaire, something like that crystal. It has things in it, magical things. This is my smoky quartz crystal, right? A lot of these crystals you can just hold to your head. Oh, this is very cooling, by the way. Mm, this feels good. Very cooling, the smoky quartz. I might leave this one out because I, I like the way it feels. This is my homemade sanitizer. Always keep a little book. I don't know why. Always keep, I think this is obsidian. This might be obsidian. But a black stone is always good to keep around you because it's for protection. Okay, I'll stop there. And I forget what this is, but I like it. But you crystal guys, you guys know what this is. I don't know what it is. I just like it. So let's talk about my candles. Pull them out of my repertoire of magical things. You know, I swear to God, one day I'm just gonna just pull out something and it's gonna be like, I have it right here, right here. Let's make a deal. I already have it. You got a safety pin? Yes. Do I? I got batteries. Oh, and then I found this stone shaped like a heart outside. So I brought it in. And then I have my own special wand. How do you clean copper? But in any case, it's my own special wand. And then I got this. I think a whole family lives in this. Look at this. I don't know if you could see it, but a whole family lives in there. Can you see it? I don't know if you guys can see it. A whole family lives in there. See that? All right. And then I got a bill. But it's paid. Remember when I never used to pay my bills? I actually do them. I actually pay them now. All right. Eyes on miracle candles. Eyes on. It's a Haitian goddess for the marketplace. This is for power and success. This is for quick money, quick responses. I trust this one because if I want something, I'm going to trust the quick money, quick responses. What does it matter if you have power? What does it matter if you have success? If you do not have your health, you need your psychic mental health and you need your COVID physical health. Work on that first. And that's why every batch will always include a health candle. Every batch. They come in threes. They call it a bundle. All right. You get um, my business card. 
a five by seven card where I tell you the power is in you. The power is in you. All right. Um, I do have my telephone number on here, but texting only. If you call me, I don't pick up. So I don't care if a thousand people call me. I won't pick up, but you can text me. And don't text me about no bullshit. Don't call me and say, can you tell me if my boyfriend's coming back? I will block you. I will block you. My telephone number is here for my precious candles. And that way you have a question or concern, you can text me directly. I do not play. Try me. I do not play. My candles are everything. So if you have a question about the candles, go for it. If you want to ask if you should take your ex-boyfriend back from jail, I'll cuss you out. Swear for God. I swear to God, I will cuss you out because I enjoy the cussing part. That's the difference. I'm going to enjoy cussing you out. Now, get a hold of yourself, Tracy. I'm trying, but you got to let these people know, spirit. They be trying you. Now. My candles are everything to me. I put my soul in them. They're called intentional flower remedy candles. I put my intentions in. You put your intentions in. And together, together, we've got some power. The power is in you. Together, imagine what can be done. Together. Thank you, Miss Steph. Miss Steph goes, it's the realest reading you've ever, you'll ever have. Right. Right. Can I pick my books up? Did, I don't know why they're like, they're going south now. It's so sad. Don't get old, people. God's revenge is getting old. It's so sad. All right. Are we good? Are we? Are we good? Don't mess with me. <laughs> I'm waiting to cut some of you out. It's, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. And if I don't cut you out, it's because I'm in a reading and I don't have time to cut you out. So I'm just going to block you. You better have a question about the candle. And let me tell you something. Don't act crazy. Go on TracyBrownLive.com. Don't ask me about the website. I'll block you. TracyBrownLive.com. It's there. Go to shop, order your candles, yada, yada, boom, boom, boom. That's all you need to worry about. Don't call me with no stupid questions. I'm sweet to God. I'll enjoy it. And I love to cuss people out too. Ciao. Ciao. I'm ready. Okay. Let's see what everybody's saying. I love your energy. Thank you, Lottie. Yes, we are good. Thank you. All in basketball already know. She goes, Tracy, we are good. Okay. Yes, we good, Lottie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the beautiful candles. Smells so good. Thank you, Quinn. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Our lease is like, I'm dead. After cracking up, she's like, I can't get up off the floor. I'm dead. <laughs> Gotta let these people know. Um, good morning, beautiful queen. Hi. Hi, Saki love. No, no, Pelsey. We're doing it the Braxton's right now. I just had to tell people about YouTube. Um, I, no, I had to tell people about um, COVID help, what to, what to expect and what to get. Um... And then we had to talk about my candles because my candles come before any of those Braxton issues. Oh, Braxton. How about if I call them Braxton dishes? Do you like that better? Any of those Braxton dishes. Do you like that better? Yeah. 
this is my business card. The power is you, not in you, not in you, because I know it's already in you. The power is you. On the back is a very sacred prayer. And I just want to show everyone here what it looks like. This is the batch that I was putting together last night. This is the last of it. It's all set and done. All I need to do is seal it. And I'll show you this one. Three candles plus a herb. Very powerful herb. Very powerful herb with three stones, one for each candle, plus my business card. Now, does this not look like a candy shop right here? This is what my house looks like, like a candy shop. This is what my house looks like all day, every day, sitting on my shelves like a candy shop. And I was thinking about getting my own boxes, but I think that's a waste of money. The UPS boxes are free. Why am I going to get my own boxes? To make you guys happy? No. I put all my energy where it belongs, in the candles. Do you like this? Doesn't this look like presents? Presents? That's the last of the uh, boxes I put together. I don't know why I didn't seal them last night, but now I'm glad I didn't seal them. Because I want you all to see... How, how much care and color I put into the candles. Thank you, Fun Size Muffin Rocket. That name is hilarious. I love that name. Um, Life-changing herbs and candles. Yes. Miss Steph says, I can't wait to get my candles. Did you order yet, Miss Steph? Or are you saying for the future? Because I like to know all my people that put their orders in. Okay. Okay, guys. Are we ready? Are we ready? What is around the Braxton family audit this morning? Oh, oh I'm so happy. Oh, okay, it'll go out. It'll go out tomorrow. You know, every Wednesday is when it goes out. Every Wednesday. Um Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Um, what is around Braxton family dishes? I have to say it that way because apparently Tawanda is going around calling up YouTubers. Do you guys know Sherelle World? I like Sherelle World. She has been just a really popular YouTuber. She has created this avenue all by herself. You know, her husband supports her. She's been through cancer. You know, she's a, she's a cancer survivor. She is absolutely a sweetheart. Do you guys know Sherelle World? Thank you, Quinn. It is a lot of work. Um... Well, apparently, Tawanda threatened Sherelle World, threatened her, was in her feed, and then sent her an email. By the way, uh, Braxton Sisters, if you want to email me, just email me at tracybrownlive at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Um, And said something like, I'll do a Cardi B on you. You're going to do a Cardi B? First of all, Sherelle got the information that was already in the news. She wasn't telling anything that was not already in People Magazine, BET, The Shade Room. Why go after Sherelle, Tawanda? Why be that? Cowardly. Like, I was shocked when I saw Sherelle's feed. And I was like, what? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So, 
My email to Wanda is Tracy Brown live at Gmail. Please come for me. You're only going to make me famous. I would love for you to come to me. My views will skyrocket. That would be so much fun. I also would love for you to tell me something about a cease and desist without a lawyer. Now, let me tell you something, young lady. I will never cease and desist. I am not a um, Tasha crazy. Don't try me, Tawanda. I'm not a Tasha crazy. I have no interest in taking you all down. Spirit might have interest in that. I'm just the portal that spirit uses. I am not a Tasha crazy. I don't do my shows to annihilate people, but you Braxton dishes are doing it just fine by yourself. So go ahead and take me to court. I'm telling you, I won't even get a lawyer. I will represent myself. I promise you, I will represent myself and that court will be a court of clowns. I object to myself, Your Honor. You can't reject. Your Honor, do not interrupt me. Tawanda is a Braxton dish. And she brought me in this court under travesty. Respect me, Your Honor. It'll be so much fun. Don't try me, Tawanda. Don't try me. I'll make so much fun out of this. <laughs> it would give me pleasure. <laughs> uh, I'll tell the whole world. And you'll just give me subscribers. So what? Now, let me help you so you don't come after me. It's not me, it's spirit, which is different. That's what psychic readings are about. It's not me, I'm the voice. So if you wanna go after somebody, go after God. You claim you believe in God, prove it. Prove it. Put my glasses on so I could see everyone. And try me, Tawanda. Do not try me. The level of crazy that is inside my head, the level of crazy, you better talk to people. You better talk to people. You better, before you come for me, you better talk to people. Because I will enjoy this. With every evil I have inside of me, I will enjoy it. Yep. I'll spend the rest of my life enjoying this and selling candles. Come on, bitch. Come on. Oh, what did I say? Are you saying try Jesus and not you? I don't know what I said now. No, I think I said try God, right? I don't know what I said, but you guys know what I mean. God knows what I mean. God is like, oh my God, is she down there again? They're like, we can't stop her. And there's, God's like, let her. I got other things to do. I gotta go to the Ukraine. Let Tracy do what she wants. Y'all better leave me alone. God got other things to do. <laughs> he got to save them souls in the Ukraine. So I'm not the one. So. My daddy used to say, says, uh, I don't know how to say your name. I'm saying it's a quite pie. A hit dog will holler. 
they are so selfish and they know they were wrong for treating Tracy the way they did. Okay, so let's get something straight here. So there was a separate service for the sisters. The sisters created a separate service because for some reason they don't get along with the husband. And because they don't get along with the husband or wanted something done differently, either they weren't invited to the funeral, which is kind of what I believe, they weren't invited, or there was so much conflict that somebody decided to do their own funeral. Now, I can tell you one thing that I already know, because I understand Tracy's spirit. The Tracys of the world, seriously, if you find a Tracy, she's fun, she's vivacious, she's going to cuss you out. That's a Tracy. Right? We're not quiet people. We're observers, which might make you believe we're quiet. We're not quiet people. And when we speak, you're going to get a cuss down. You're gonna hear the truth. And that was Tracy. For some reason, they couldn't go all go to one funeral. So let me show you what the Braxton sisters service looked like. Is her name spelled T-R-A-C-Y or are you talking to me? I saw a track as and she was I saw track as okay. And find a rabbit in the prayer booth. Okay. Let me show have you seen the pictures, guys? Before I show the pictures, have you seen the pictures of their personal service? Has anybody seen them yet? I'll give you a chance to answer before I start showing them. My psychic detectives be on it. Right in my DMs. Tracy, look. Tesh Butterfly, you haven't seen the pictures? I'm going to show you. You you guys have not seen the pictures? I'm going to show IG. Hold on a second. Because they're disgusting. They're disgusting. Okay. Hold on a second. This is the sister's version. The Braxton Dishes service version. Hold on. This is one picture. Where they had a professional cameraman there. A professional cameraman was there taking pictures. You arrogant son of a dishes. A professional cameraman. I got to show you guys the pictures. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm showing, I'm showing, oh no, not that one. I'm showing simultaneous. Who puts their leg up like that at a funeral, guys? Who puts their leg up like that at a funeral? You let me know. Who puts their leg up like that at a funeral? This is a memorial service. This is a celebration of life service. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is... Look at Tamar. Now, these are church girls. That's the only reason why I'm pointing things out. This is what you expect your cousin to wear because you know your cousin is trashy, right? That's what you expect your cousin to wear. That's when you're like, did you see how Tamar came? But she's the cousin, not the sister. Am I right or am I wrong? And what the hell is sticking out from underneath her pants? Is that a garter belt? What is that? And they all supposedly 
wearing green because that's Tracy's favorite color? Or is that the one outfit that they could find that they thought, oh, let's use this picture and let's all wear green? By the way, I don't care. I don't care who wears lime green at a funeral. I'm not judging you. I'm judging you. Do you know what I'm saying? Lime green? Listen, listen, when my dad died, we all wore, I think we all wore white. When my cousin Rose died, her family wore the softest color pink. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Lime green is a harsh color. It means disrespect at a funeral. You guys don't have to agree with me, but I hope you agree with me. Let me look at the next one. Oh, here's the prize. Here's the prize. Look at, look at Tony. That's the prize. The one that you all like. Who wears thigh high boots and a bathrobe? Who wears thigh high boots and a bathrobe? That's Tony. Are you kidding me? And Tony is the one we all like. She's a dish. She's a dish. All right. There's more. There's more. Please tell me what's going on here. Please tell me what's happening to Tawanda. Let me see. What's happening here? Is this a Jada Pickett issue? Is this I support cancer issue? Come on, come on. Is it I support cancer issue? Let me get, if I get in it, maybe it'll come off. Is it I support cancer issue? What's going on here? What's going on here, guys? What's going on here? What is she supporting? Is she supporting cancer? Does she have alopecia too? What is happening? It is none of my business. But something's not right. Something is not right. Is it her next level of attention that she needed? What is going on? Well, I don't want to judge who looks better than who. They all look like trashy dishes. So let's not read the room better, butterfly. Let's not compare. Let's not do that. That's such a common thing amongst women. It's no one looks better. They all look equally trashy. That's what I'm trying to point out, okay? Now, there was such a common theme of trash this is uh, uh, the, the mother of these dishes. I wouldn't support. I wouldn't support. I don't know if this is her favorite color, Tracy's favorite color. Y'all are going to have to find out for me, psychic um, detectives. But look at her. We're low battery. Oh, no. This is her doing the same thing as the others low battery. I'll, I'll take care of it. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Low battery, my ass. Don't worry. I got you. I got your low battery. I got your low battery and then some. All right, we should be good for a minute, okay? That was the mother. Here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Look at this one. Look at this one. Tamar, I don't care who you think you are or why you think you are, the way that you are. Nobody poses like this at a funeral. No one. 
And then look at Tony, all model-esque, looking up in the air, trying to be fabulous at her sister's funeral. There's not a humble bone in their bodies. If you ask me, they are glad. They are celebrating and they're happy. Not about celebration of life, but it's almost like, thank God she's dead. She was so annoying. But here, they must have said the theme is trash, right? Because, wait, not yet. So Trina, did. if, if, I, if I'm mistaken, I'm mistaken. From what I could tell in this picture, Trina didn't even like her sister. So she couldn't be bothered but to wear gloves. And not even two, one. Not even two, but one. That is a pretty outfit Tracy had on though. Damn. The good one left. Damn. That's a beautiful outfit Tracy has on, isn't it? Let's, let's take her out the picture. Look at that outfit. I don't know. I got this, I think, from something Hollywood or, or the shade room. I forgot where. Um, I give nobody credit. I don't give a fuck. Nobody gets credit in my book. Where'd you get the pictures from? I don't know. I take everybody out. I give no one credit. <laughs> I don't care. Her and Trina was the closest. I don't believe it for a minute. I don't believe it. Not the way she's dressed. No. No. Are you sure toward the end? Are you sure? Because this picture does not represent a girl that loved her sister. Maybe the black, maybe she's the only one that's showing respect for the event. She never showed her trashiness for the in the pictures so maybe you're right um but here's the kicker the word out on the town must have been tracy braxton funeral dress like trash because this was nene leaks This is how Nene Leakes came to Tracy's funeral. And if green was Tracy's favorite color, why are the balloons blue? Make it make sense, everyone. That's how Nene Leakes came to the funeral, looking like trash. Look at that. Let me get closer so you can see her boots. Who does that? And she just came from a personal funeral. She would not have liked it if anybody showed up looking like she showed up for Tracy's funeral. Don't try me. And I'll show you some more pictures. This is Tony and, and Nini. So this was absolutely approved. And the memo must have went out that you are allowed to dress like trash. The memo must have went out. Nini's boobs is in Tony's mouth practically. All right. Is there another one here? I think that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm disgusted. They don't even dress like that to go to the store. Right. Tracy says she doesn't have a favorite color. So how the hell did they get lime green for a funeral? 
hunter green. I might have gone with hunter green, but this is lime green. By the way, it looks like somebody put this together for them. It looks like they got a seamstress with the worst color they could find, the cheapest color that they could find, and then said, ah, use this. She's dead. Use this. Like they go into a club. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's get this reading started. What's the question? Give me a question on these bitches. What's the question? So disrespectful. So disrespectful. I don't care. It wasn't a birthday. Don't turn this around on me. Don't turn this around. It was her birthday. The woman's dead. I don't care how you slice it. Celebrating a memorial service on her birthday is beautiful. Dressing like trashy dishes is not. That was their excuse to disrespect this woman in her death. Fuck out of here. F-O-H out of here. What do you mean by that, Lottie, when you say, what's the hidden message we are missing? Do you have, do you, are you getting a hidden message? Just let me know. Birthday picks my ass. These disgusting wenches didn't give a damn about Tracy. They didn't give a damn about her. If anything, they are relieved that she's dead. If anything. They're like, oh, so annoying, these Christian women. You know they're the worst. You know it. You know it. I'm not saying nothing that we all haven't experienced. I'm sorry, Evelyn. I think... You, you, the discipline of these women are the worst. Oh, why is this card separate? I might use it. Are we ready? Did they care about her? Should be the question. Ty Life, you got it. Please, God, talk to me. She took the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Please, God, talk to me. Talk to me about the Braxton women who have no family values. Please talk to me about the Braxton women who have no family values. None. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. These women are your children, Father God. They're your loves. They're your beloveds. Please authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say see I love you God I love you Jesus in your name I pray amen 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 all right guys my nose it just it's the uh, the uh, the fan Ugh. I keep spray around for all my Virgos. Because my Virgos are very funny people. My Virgos, mm -mm, they will call me out. They'll be like, seriously, Tracy? I'll be like, okay, I know what to do from now on. Let the church say amen. Amen. All right, first card is a loving thought serendipity. Tracy, in her death, still loves her sisters. If anything, she feels pity for them. In her death, she's not mad at them. That's how you know the soul has arrived. Good for you, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you for that being the first card. Um, she spent so much time trying to stay balanced, even though it was very hard to stay balanced, right? 
She also carries the most family secrets, and that's why they're mad at her. They were always afraid that she was going to spill the beans. Did Tracy write a book? Did Tracy write a book? Did she want to write a book? Was it coming? Was she threatening to write a book? Because she absolutely was going to spread some dirt. She has a book. Was there a second book coming? Because she was so mad, it's at her house. So the book isn't in the public yet? Did she sell the book? Yes, I, I get that. Mm -hmm. I talked about that yesterday. She has three in a journal. Oh my God, guys. I, you guys know how much I love journals. I have to get her journal. No, 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 no. Not a little bit. She knew everything. Each one of the sisters came to Tracy about the other because she wasn't in the business. So they would talk to her because she wasn't in the business. Before Family Braxton Values, she stepped out of the business. So she is the secret keeper. Do you understand? She knew everything. The thing that's interesting is that everything she knew, she told it to the other sister. She didn't keep any of the secrets. She told the sister what the other sister said to her. And I'm talking about years of this, guys. So don't think I'm talking about what you all saw. I'm talking about years of holding on to secrets. And when she began to spiral out of control and drinking more, they were afraid that she was going to begin to spill the beans. And that's why they labeled her a drunk. So when she started to talk, you all would see her as a drunk and you all would not believe her. She had secrets on Trina and her husband, Gabe. She had secrets on Tawanda, who pretended to be the nice, clean one. She had secrets on Tony. Tamar just finally just went crazy. But she was the secret keeper. In the end, she was emotionally cleansing herself in the end. In the end, the way she used to talk to them was something like, you know, you know, you know. And you could see her holding back her anger because she was holding back the secrets. Okay? Yeah, Birdman is recent. She's got secrets on Tony going way back. I'm telling you all this is before the TV show. All right. So at some point, her emotional disbursement from her was her version of emotional cleansing. You have no idea. It actually wound up ruining her marriage because she would come home and purge to her husband, but more like in a frenzy. And it was just too much for him. All right. She cried all the time. all the time and she was like they keep disrespecting me but i know everything she kept saying they keep disrespecting me and i'm the one that hasn't done anything so she was basically saying uh she keeps this they keep disrespecting me but you guys are trash. That's what she kept saying 
She didn't say it out loud. Parents, it doesn't matter if it was the funeral or not. Don't miss the point. It's disrespectful. The woman died. Listen, the woman's not here. You still don't dress in a bathrobe for a woman that died. Let somebody try that shit. Anybody else, people would have been like, so we're celebrating her birthday in bathrobes without titties out. Does it make sense? She's dead. She's dead, I tell you. Listen to that fact. Dead. Dead. Don't wear a fucking lime green bathrobe to the celebration of a dead woman. It's disrespectful. And it was their version of showing disrespect. Don't buy the hype. These women did not like her. She was the black sheet of the family, but I have often found that the black sheet of the family is the most responsible, that the family is black sheet. That they're toxic. Do you know what I mean? You're still looking at the picture. What do you mean? I took the picture down. She was the scapegoat in a narcissistic system. This was about them. They slandered her husband, Wallace. All they are the ones that was exploiting her death. Right. Right. They're a bunch of narcissists. Right. All of that and then some. Okay. At some point, she had to separate from them again. And I think the way I remember it, she started doing some solo stuff. Remember? Going on TV shows without her sisters. Do you guys remember that? My light went out. Remember? Tracy was sad about dying. She was sad. And one of the regrets that she has is no one seeing her heart. That's one of the regrets in, in her lifetime that no one remembered that she had a heart of gold. Oh, really? So Mahogany says, let me find it. Yeah, that's a disrespectful picture. Mahogany says, the lake up pic was covering up Tracy in the back, like covering up, covering, covering her up or blocking her out as they always did in life. I didn't even know Tracy was in the background. Good morning. I didn't even know Tracy was in the background. I didn't even see that. Do you guys want to see that picture? I gotta turn my light on anyway. Let me see something. Okay. Oh, good, 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 good. Hold on. She's talking about this picture. Let me see. She's talking about this picture. I didn't even know that was Tracy in the background. Look at that, guys. Look at that bullshit right now. All right, stay right there while I put my light back on and see how much, I've got enough power. Okay, enough power to share. Okay.
you see what I'm talking about? Disgusting. Disgusting women. Disgusting. Let's continue on. Ah, Tracy was one of us. Tracy was a metaphysical soul. She didn't know how to handle her metaphysical soul, which is the reason why I'm here for all of you. Hold on, my eyes. Which is the reason why I've shown up in the world the way I've shown up to help you all with your metaphysical way and your feelings and having these impressions and psychic dreams and all that stuff. She was one of us. And many times, our category of people are ostracized. People don't get us. Our light burns their souls. When, it, when we show up, even if you show up quiet, because most of us are very subdued people. So when I go into a room of people I don't know, I go on like this. But my light shines. All eyes are always on me, always. And my light burns some people because they think I know something that I don't, and I don't have to tell them I'm a psychic. Or my light attracts like-minded souls, but they're not in the metaphysical world, but they something about me radiates warm. So I either get good souls or I repulse the worst type of people out there in the world and they see it. They see the truth through the light. Tracy was one of us. Now, I wish I could have seen that because I would have loved to have reached out to her. I feel like I might have saved her from cancer. Because sometimes, guys, you can give yourself cancer. Sometimes the world can be so bad that you can actually give yourself cancer. And the type of cancer that Tracy had was esophageal cancer. So either she didn't speak up enough or she spoke up too much. And it was detrimental because I would have said, Shut it down and let these girls be who they are. Don't try to fix them. Don't yell at them. Let the truth come out through spirit, not you. You enjoy your life, your son, your grandbaby, your daughter-in-law. Enjoy your husband. And if you and your husband weren't together, enjoy your boyfriend. That's what I would have said to her, to, to heal her before cancer ravaged her, because cancer ravaged her through her sisters. Thank you, Kay. Her energy was blocked. Throat chakra. Yes, thank you, sweetie. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Cynthia B, always. When you speak on the truth, people can't handle it. When you identify with the real problem as they're trying to make you the problem and you turn it around and be like, actually, this is the problem. And the problem is you. And you start nailing, oh, you're gonna lose friends. You're going to be hated. That's okay. That's what Tracy was going through. But Tracy didn't realize it was too much. In a weird kind of way, Tracy might have gave herself cancer. Okay, I get a fire sign man here. I don't know if it's her husband or whatever. 
I get that Tracy was trying to reach something and she was, it was a struggle to get to the mountaintop. It was a struggle in this lifetime to get to the mountaintop, right? I think she had a lot of conversations with her husband, right? A lot of conversations with her husband, a lot of tears, but a lot of knowing, look at this woman, a lot of knowing nothing's gonna change and a lot of resistance from her husband. I don't think this is the family Brecks and sisters. I think this is conversation with her husband, um, maybe about him, maybe about her, her sisters, but toxicity begots toxicity. Remember that. And the only way to take better care of yourself when toxicity is all around you is to remove yourself. Okay? Um, nothing worked emotionally for Tracy. Nothing worked. She was swimming in her own mess. always, always swimming on her own mess. And in a weird kind of way, never got anywhere. Never got anywhere. This is from childhood to adult. You could dress Tracy up, you could make her look pretty, but emotionally, all her life, she carried this pain. She thought fighting her sisters was the best answer, and it probably was. I'm not going to take away her decision. Oh, the butterfly is back. They have these beautiful little butterflies that came through in October. I wonder what, yeah, they're, I wonder what they are. Hear the wind? That's Oya. And Oya, I learned from Ifa Shea's class, the wind will talk to you. Did you hear the wind just now? It was making the leaves make noise, but the interesting part is, is that we rarely have dead leaves. So how are the leaves making noise? But the wind was kicking up to validate what I was saying. A lot of deception, guys. A lot of deception. Tracy was surrounded around deceptive quality people. That's all she ever dealt with was liars. Liars, cheaters, thieves. You know, we tend to marry, hello. We tend to marry what's in our family. Do you realize that? You're going to marry your husband. You're going to marry your mother. You're going to marry what's in your family. If there's jail and drugs and prescription abuse and gambling, it shows up again in your spouse. The reason why it shows up in your relationship is because God is saying to you, Look at where you came from, don't repeat. Most of us have never been trained, trained to look at our trauma. So we gravitate towards the trauma. We see the trauma as the only thing we know and we see that as a version of love, even though you're going to say, my mother was a drunk. My grandmother was a drunk, and you will marry a drunk, period. The objective is to see how you handle that. That becomes your test. Because if you handle it the way your mother has handled it, if you handle it the way your father has handled it, 
that becomes the generational curse and that sticks. And until you recognize what a generational curse is, you will always gravitate to the same type of woman, the same type of man in different clothing. The generational curse isn't some magical bullshit that somebody uh, got some eggs, eggshells, cracked it up, and buried. The generational curse is your behavior and what you believe in. And that means spending more time identifying, and it means being alone. It means understanding who you are in your family. It means operating in a way where every time a man comes to you and this guy's from jail, it doesn't mean you're supposed to bring him in your house. How many jailbirds have you dated? Well, let me see now, Tracy. There's been like five in my lifetime. Does that make sense? One mistake I could see, five jailbirds. One cheetah I could see, everyone's a cheater on you. You're a victim every single time. It's not that you're a victim. You gravitate towards cheaters because the nice guy, he's so boring. That nice guy, he's nice, but he's so boring. And you forget, long forget about the nice guy. And once again, we're chasing the uh, no sleeping home, making decisions for you. I'll sleep with you, but we're not in a relationship. I get this a lot. I was like, are you in a relationship? I always have to ask the question different because the only person you guys ever understand is me. When I go, are you in a relationship with someone? They go, no. And I go, damn it, damn it. I was like, you are in a relationship with someone. And I, this is how I have to say, to say it to everyone. If you're fucking them, you're in a relationship. So tell me you're not having sex with someone oh, I'm having sex with someone, then you're in a relationship. Just because he taught you you're not in a relationship, that's on you. That's your generational curse. Because no one gets to have all of this and not claim me. And y'all need to start acting better about all of this. It's emotional growth. Try me once. Okay, he got over. You think I haven't gotten over? Somebody hasn't gotten over on me? Literally, where somebody will say, it was like three months in, and I was like, what is this? And he goes, it's nothing. And I was like, it's like nothing, nothing? And he goes, no, like, I like you. Um, we get along fine. You laugh at my jokes. Oh, okay. All right, so you like all of that? Yeah. But... Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. He never claimed me. Never introduced me to his family. And when I broke it up with him, he got mad at me. When I finally woke up one day, one day and was like, this is it. I'm done. He got mad at me. And since then, everybody that comes to me, if you shut your trap, people will talk up their gut. And you gotta hear a man how he treats women. If you're dating someone right now that agrees with Chris Rock, you don't have a good man. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know that's hard to hear. Mm -hmm. If you're dating a man that agreed with Chris Rock, he don't like you. 
because the man that doesn't agree with Will Smith talking about their wife is a problem. And Will Smith went to Chris Rock and said, please, she has a medical condition. What was the next step supposed to be? Now, granted, you guys don't like it that it was in the public. At the Oscars, what I saw was a man that promised his wife, if it happens again, I'm going to knock the shit out of him. She was supposed to receive that favor from her husband. Doesn't matter who cheated on who. And that's why I favor Will Smith. Because a black man that constantly puts down black women is not my cup of tea. And if that sets me apart from all of you, be gone. Be gone. Because the moment I get up there, we're not going to have a conversation in my history about how I favored Chris Rock over hurting no woman, especially a woman with a medical condition. All right, I'm over it. I'm just letting y'all know, if you had a husband that agreed with Chris Rock, you are not safe. And I know that hurts good. <sighs> Her son shows up here. Her son shows up with this very immature, youngish, personality you know there was something about her child that has this innocence about him all right guys the family <laughs> they can't blame Tracy anymore they cannot blame Tracy anymore their devils are going to come back to haunt them period all of their devils, and there's a lot, are going to come back to haunt them. The tower is going to crumble them. Period. And they will all ache in pain. Probably worse than Tracy did. This is not Tracy's doing. This is a curse upon the family. It's just showing up right now. Their job for the curse not to show up was to stick together. That was their job. They never stuck together as women. So the curse is on. It's on. This could be the reality curse, but it's bigger than the reality curse here. This is, this is so much more. This is, each of these girls will suffer something. Um, first it was Tracy, then Tamar right, with her diagnosis, um, and also trying to take that man down and him leeching off of her. Remember that whole thing? Um, and then the other sisters, I have to be honest with you, I even think this is such extreme pain. Like, you guys have to see what I see. Let me take a picture of this so you guys can see how they got all the terrible cards, and then I'm going to have to go. There's hope, because I pulled this card, but I don't know where it came from. 
there's hope, but they're going to have to be mandated some change. These cards are the ugliest cards I've ever seen. And these cards represent who they are. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you guys. You got to see it on YouTube. It's ugly on YouTube. Yeah. But this is the card. All in a row. The worst cards in a row. That's the card. And this is what it looks like, you two. The worst cards in the world. And I'm also getting that each of these cards represent one of the sisters. I'm also getting this celebration this birthday party bullshit it was spiritually disrespectful and they were supposed to sit this one out there was no humbleness here and they are constantly constantly showing thank you Arthur how much they hate their sister behind lying at a birthday celebration in her death I don't know what stuff Tamar is drinking in Africa, but she might be going to Africa to save her life because she might know that the curse is here. All right. Each, each one of these cards represents the sisters that are left. And this is so sad. Now, is there a way for this not to happen? Yeah. I think there's still a way to survive all of this, Braxton sisters. But it really is going to take an opportunity for you to pull your energy back so much. To ask for forgiveness for how you are. You have to look at you. You have to understand it is you it's not Tracy. It's not the world. It's not the music business. This is inside of you. And none of this has to be. Prayer works. Prayer with actions works better. So in order for all of this not to come to you, you have to decide, I can't be this way anymore. But that means acknowledging that you have been ugly. And that is the part that is hard to own. Your own ugly, that's the part that people can't identify with. But you can call somebody else out and call them ugly. You all can tell me how ugly Will Smith was. You're ugly. And that's a period. All right. I got a reading to do. Let me get this final outcome. This is a terrible reading. True, but terrible. And to Wanda, all you Braxton dishes, don't come for me. I will gladly go into court with no lawyer and show everything and spiritually knock the shit out the court. You want to try me? I would enjoy it. The power is me. You will never know who you're fucking with. Final outcome. Oh, I wish you guys could see the anger. I feel like that was Tracy's anger. I wish you guys could feel what I felt just now. Tracy. 
Tracy's human anger was so real. Damn, girl. Wow. This is an interesting one. All right. Upside down or right side up. We've seen this one recently. Upside down. I knew it. I said this car's going to I saw it. And I said. My neighbor loves to walk around half naked. I think he's doing it for me. <laughs> and then he passes my door and he goes. <laughs> so cute. Wait, I want to see him naked. Judge, upside down. Mm. Offering only destructive criticism. Misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. I like to, didn't that cousin or niece died from drugs? Didn't she? Because of that family she came from. <laughs> Too funny. I think he does it for me. He's like 80. But he's in good shape. For an 80 year old. Judge. Oh, we got judged with T.S. Madison, remember? Because that's when I realized that she was a, a mediator or arbitrator. And I was like, oh, T.S. Madison was the one that bridged this. This is upside down judge. <laughs> Shadow judge manifests as destructive criticism. That's what Tracy got. Judging without compassion. They didn't mind calling her a drunk in public. But the person that called her a drunk is hiding secrets that Tracy never revealed. Misuse of legal authority or threatening others through association with the law. Don't come for me, Tawanda. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Save yourself. Mm -mm, not your sisters. Mm -mm. All right. This is terrible. Oh. Oh, it's 11.05. Uh oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 Miss call. I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with me. I love you. Please leave your message for. Hi, this is Tracy. Hold on, okay? Okay. Okay, good. I love you, and I want to thank you for letting me do this reading. Send this to the Braxton sisters because I think they need to change their lives over. I think they need to get back in the church and stop singing and just get back in the church. That's just me. Um, send a message to Tawanda. Don't come for me. <laughs> Bye, guys. This is Tracy. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go 